Welcome to another workout exclusive on YouTube from John Gary TV. Today I'm going to be doing an intermediate athletic reformer workout. So we're going to be working lower body, upper body, and core, and we're going to get right into it. So I'm using three heavy springs. I'm going to begin with some footwork to get warmed up. So I'm going to come down onto the carriage and I'm going to take my heels right in line with my sit bones on the foot bar. And I'm going to have a nice neutral alignment, which means I have a little space between my lower back and the carriage. Arms resting down by my side. I'm going to exhale to press the carriage out and inhale to return. The goal is to go full range of motion without snapping the knees or hitting the stopper. And also keeping that alignment and not letting the pelvis tip forward or back. So it's really about controlling this part of my body while I'm mobilizing the lower part of my body. You're going to exhale, press out, inhale to return. Press right through the center of the heel and then return. Let's do that a couple more times. And press. And just one more time. Come in. Now go into what we call high half toe. So it's on the balls of your feet. They're still going to be hip distance apart. Your heels are lifted. You try to hold the heels still in space while you press the carriage out from this position. You want to keep the pressure between the great toe and the second toe the whole time as you're pressing in and out. That'll help keep the alignment through the ankle, the knee, and the hip. And again, exhale to press, inhale to come back in. You can exhale like you're blowing through a straw, that'll help you recruit the abdominals, and inhale through the nose. Let's do a couple more. Legs should be starting to feel it already. And now we're gonna do a lower lift. So you're gonna press out, we're gonna stay right here, you're gonna lower the heels under and lift. Your knees are straight, but not hyperextended. You want to keep a good uh, engagement through the abdominals. You want your glutes hugging each other and you're going to exhale, reach the heels under, inhale, lift. And let's do five more and four and three, strong core, two and one and come back in. Now just take your heels to the outsides of the bar. This is called second position and we're going to press out from here and return. Just gonna do two more like this. And then we're gonna really get the glutes more active, the whole back of the leg actually, by lifting the hips up but maintaining neutral, pressing out and coming back in. Press away. And exhale, press. You should feel how that really starts to work through the glutes a little bit more. Right through the center of the heel still as you press. Knees track right over the center of the feet. Don't let them cave in. Two more. One more, staying lifted, come back in, and lower the hips down. Now, we're gonna go to single leg. So I'm gonna take one heavy spring off. So I'm working with two heavy springs. I'm gonna take my heel of one foot right on the bar in front of my sit bone, and the other leg is gonna stay right here, lengthen out. I'm gonna press out for five. Now the goal here, again, is to keep the hips from moving. It's a little bit harder when you're pressing with just one side. And one more. Now, as you press out, you're gonna continue, but as you press out, you're gonna bend that knee and you're gonna reach your heel to the ceiling without tucking. Try to keep that neutral alignment in the lower back. Exhale, press and reach. Inhale, come back in. Exhale, press and reach. It's like a nice hamstring stretch on the gesture side. Good strength work on the other side. All right, let's go to the other side. Put your heel right in line with your sit bone on the foot bar and your other leg reaches out over the foot bar and press out. Try to notice any difference between one side and the other. Exhale, press, inhale, return. Still holding onto that ab engagement. Two more, we're gonna do one more here. And now we're gonna add that lift. So you're gonna bend and press and reach and come back over. Exhale, press up, reach and come back in. Do that again pressing the heels away from each other, and in, two more. Press, and in, and one more time. Press away, reach up, and come back in and over. Now, the springs can stay the same, the two heavy springs. You're gonna take the straps, and you're gonna place them on your feet, and we're gonna start with the legs together here, and just bend and stretch. So exhale, press out, inhale to return. Do that again, press away, and return. You can keep your feet flexed here and just press through the heels for today. And press. Legs stay together. 
Again, you're still focused on maintaining that control of the pelvis and the lower back. Now we're gonna hold the legs straight, you're gonna lift both up. So again, this is a really great hamstring stretch. As you lift the legs up, you wanna think about sinking the tailbone down and not letting it lift. And one more. Now what we're going to do is one leg does one of those things and the other does the other. So you're gonna bend one knee and the other leg will go straight to the ceiling and come back out. Again, control this, a little bit of coordination for you here. Inhale to come in, exhale to press out. Inhale to come in. Now don't let your foot on that bent knee side drop so low that that rope gets in your way. Try to keep the foot high enough that the rope stays off your shin. And again, come in and out. Two more. Inhale in, exhale out. One more and back. Now you can just lower your headrest down and we're gonna do a little mobility of the spine here. This will feel great. You're gonna bend your knees and then roll back. Roll down and press back out. Try to keep the arms relaxed so you get some help from the springs, but you still should be using your abs to do that reverse crunch. And again, exhale, roll down and press out. One more time, right back there, roll down and press out. Bend your knees, you can take those straps off. Let's add a little bit of upper body now. So come around, you're gonna sit up, and we're gonna take, uh, we're still gonna be using the straps. I'm gonna keep the springs the same. You're gonna take the foot bar out of the way though. And I'm gonna use those two heavy springs for the first part. Now you can sit with your legs crossed in front of you out over the headrest, or if you want, you can take them on the outsides. Have just a little room behind you so you don't fall off the back. Cross the ropes here. I'm actually gonna take my legs on the inside. And then you're just gonna bend your elbows out to the side. This is really good work across the upper back. Avoid bringing those hands right into your shoulders like this. You wanna keep them almost as wide as your elbows as you pull back. Hold your spine steady, sitting up tall. Two more, one more, and then back. All right, now you can reduce the resistance for this next one. I'm gonna go down to one heavy spring, and I'm just gonna put one of the ropes away, and I'm gonna hold the opposite one in my hand, and I'm just gonna pull back, just now single arm. Two, and exhale, three, and four. We'll do one more, and five, and now we're gonna add that rotation. So as you pull, you're gonna look back. Try to keep your weight centered on your sit bones. Try not to lean, sitting nice and tall. <sighs> pull back, one more, and pull. All right, we're gonna switch to that other side here. So grab it in the opposite hand. No rotation to start with, just pull back. Use that exhale as you pull, abdominals engage, sitting up tall. Two more, one more. Now we're gonna add some comfortable Rocco. We're gonna add some rotation there, turning back. And again, Woo. feeling those back muscles working those rotators of the spine behind you and back. Now, you're gonna come on up. We're gonna turn to the side here and I'm gonna do a little punch across. So I'm gonna start right here with my back strap. I'm kneeling, you can sit if you're not comfortable kneeling. You're gonna punch across and as you punch across, you rotate and then come back, rotate. And guys, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to us so that you get to see all of our workouts. Two more, and one more time. That's it. Now, I'm gonna switch sides. Guys, this is tricky here, so be careful. Lighten the spring if you need to. Use your support beam, that's what I call this arm, right here against your side for backhand. Be really careful, pressing up and out, don't topple over, and come back down through. And again, press two, and down. And exhale, press three, and two more. Good, and one more time, press. Now use the rope on the same side and you're gonna press it right up overhead. So an overhead press, exhale press. Keep the rest of your body nice and controlled, not moving it, and now add the side bend. Over and back. Use this opposite arm for 
help by reaching down toward the carriage. Two more, press, and one more time. Press and come back. All right, we're gonna repeat that on the other side. So turn around, remember we use the back strap first. Knees about hip distance apart. Punch across and rotate, and inhale to come back. Get that rotation from the spine, and think about holding the pelvis steady facing the front. Two more, right across, and one more time. Press it, and come back. All right, now we're gonna add Backhand, front strap, be careful, use your support beam here. Press up and out. Stabilize, and again, right through. And down, and exhale, press. And back, two more. And one more time, that's it. And then you're gonna switch, and we're gonna do the overhead press, oops, just the overhead press to start with. Two, sorry about that, got ahead of myself. Three, hold your body steady, exhale, push up. That's it, now we're gonna add that side bend. Reach your free arm toward the carriage. And again, two, and three more, press. Two more, and one more time, right over there, and back. All right, from there, we're gonna bring the foot bar up, and we're gonna go on to long stretch. So bring that right up here, and you can use one heavy, all the way up to two heavy. So I'm gonna use a heavy and a light. And then I'm gonna come onto the carriage here, grab the hand, uh, grab the bar with the whole hand, push into this plank, press back, and come forward. Inhale back, exhale forward. Now the goal is to keep your body in a straight line from your head to your heels. Usually this is done with your feet in the center of the carriage, but I'm gonna add on to this, so I'm gonna keep my feet where they are. I'm gonna press back and stay there, bend the knees and come back. So a knee stretch, two. Keep your shoulders way back behind your hands. Three, four, five, six. Don't start coming forward, seven and eight. Now finish that long stretch and return all the way in. Okay, from there, just have a seat facing the side here and just go to one spring. And you're gonna do, just do a side bend here. Press over and come all the way up. And let's do that again. Press over, reach, stretch, and all the way up. And one more time. Press right over and up. Now we're just gonna turn and do that same thing on the other side. Flip over here, turn your legs back, and as you reach the arm up, press away and stretch, and come back, and two more. Exhale away. And one more, press and back. Now, we're gonna go back to one heavy and one light, kneel on the carriage and sit back. We're just gonna do a modified version of an exercise called the down stretch. You're just gonna lengthen your spine and then hinge and come into this really nice bow shape here. Then bring the carriage forward as far as you can and then just sit back, round your spine to the start position. Lengthen back through the spine, then reach the legs back behind you in that bow shape, come forward, just keep the breath flowing, and sit back. One more time to finish. Lengthen, all the way back. Extend your hips and your spine. Come forward and up, and then just sit back. And that is it for this athletic reformer workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out the other workouts on our YouTube series. And if you'd like to see longer workouts, join me on johngarytv.com where we have longer workouts with notes you can download. That's it for us. Please hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you again next time. Bye.